Good morning, everyone. Sharon here for another live right here on my page at Iris Store Stuff. So um, just hang in a second. I'm just going to try something different today and I'm trying to look at it on my laptop from a different place. So let's see how this works. Um, thank you if you've just joined me. Let me know where you're from. Uh, it's not going to let me do it. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'm just like the description says, I'm going to be playing with some of these sign boards today. Uh, great big boards that are going to be used for my essential stencil live tomorrow. So if you're catching the replay, that's awesome too. Let me know. And just let me get this sorted. <coughs> so I can kind of see the live and watch for comments. So please jump on, tell me where you're from. And if you're from Australia, that is awesome. And I'm going to have to do some of my lives at nighttime, our time, because um, I want to catch some of my Australian audience while they're not working. So that's, that's awesome. But I'm doing this one right now. It's kind of a similar time frame that I will also be live tomorrow on Essential Stencils page. And um, over there, I'm going to be doing one of their, their Stencil of the Month Club stencil is all spring related. So that's cool. But I'm also going to incorporate some of their normal stencils in that. Excuse me, I'm just going to share this to my group. If you're jumping in on the live and you want to share it somewhere, that would be amazing. Tag a friend. Um, so I have a group called I Restore Stuff. You can too. You can join that group. And if you saw in my description of the live just now also, I'm going to let you know a little bit about uh, my brand new Stencil of the Month Club, VIP Club. Now that is, it's going to be aimed specifically at if you have a business, um, creative business, you're a furniture painter, sign maker, um, all of those creative niches. You can jump in on the link that's up there in my description and I'll let you know. You can see more about that there, helping you with your social media, but also just teaching you some other fun skills that we can collaborate and get together every month live in a private Facebook community. Uh, all of the details are on the link right there up in the description. So check that out. Jump on the waiting list and I'll be letting you know exactly when that will be launching. It'll be very soon. And um, I'm really excited about it. I'll let you know more in a little minute about that when we get some more people jumping on. So let me know. Uh, thanks, Melanie. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> so we've got these boards that I've prepped today. And to prep them, all I did was paint them white in just fu some fusion mineral paint. Picket Fence is one of their whitest, brightest whites. So let me just see if I can see comments. I'm not really seeing anything, so please. Say hello, so I know that you're here. Or maybe it's just not showing them. Alrighty, we'll get started anyway. <clears throat> okay, so I've got two boards. Let me drop you down here. Two boards I'm working on today, and um, they're both the same size, and they're actually made up from these, believe it or not, are pine bed slats. Thanks, Melanie. These are pine bed slats that have been joined together with biscuit joins and they actually were one great big ginormous board uh, that were meant to be a bench seat but they kind of went a bit wonky and I thought well that's perfect they'll be still great for sign making so am I right you can do signs on just about anything so they're boards that are joined together and I'm not sure if you can actually see this but there's a little bit of a yellowish tinge coming through on some of these boards and that's what we call bleed through. So I like it when I can show real life examples of what bleed through looks like when you're painting furniture because some people um, aren't quite sure what, that, what that's talking about but oh, there's a bit of shadow happening here so you may not be able to see but that middle board right there is a little bit of a tinge of yellow in it. And the only way to stop that coming through is um, by, that I've found anyway is by using what we call Zinsa bin stain blocker and I will show you the tin of that so if ever you get a piece of furniture and that's happening too I don't sand it off or anything I just leave it as is and I'll add some of this Zinsa bin stain blocker um, to that coat there 
and then I'll just continue painting white. So that will block those tannins that come through from the pine and sometimes it's on knotted pine pieces that you'll see that kind of a look. So not sure if you can see that there, but I thought I'd mention it. I'm not gonna do that today because what we're doing with my signs is, Fran, thank you. So you can see that on the video. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it today because what I'm doing and the technique that I'm using, I'm kind of layering paint over the top of it and I don't think that you'll be able to see it. And I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> but if you were painting a piece of furniture, especially if you were painting it for a customer, uh, you don't want that yellowish bleed through coming through. So there's my tip on furniture painting for the day. Now, don't tell Marty, he's away right now. But I grabbed a pair of his jeans from the closet. I don't think he'll be wearing these ones anytime soon. No, only kidding. Um, they weren't from the closet because they've got this huge rip <laughs> in the back of them. So they're actually ones that I've set aside exactly for this purpose today. Hey, Paula. <laughs> now, Paula has just joined us. Paula is um, my husband's sister. She's my sister-in-law. So Paula, I grabbed a pair of Marty's jeans for this project today. Don't tell him. <laughs> but he won't be wearing them anytime soon. We won't ask what happened here, but I can imagine that was um, caused some embarrassment. If he was wearing them out on a job somewhere, I don't know, don't wanna know, don't even tell me. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna be using the back part of these jeans to cause like a bit of a um, denim technique on these white boards that I've painted. So that's the first one I'll be doing, and the other one I'll leave until a little bit later. I am going to be using one of these on my Essential Stencil Live tomorrow. What I need is, so I've got my board painted white, and the other thing that I'm going to be using, you can use any blue. What we look, we're looking for is a denim kind of a look. So you could use this midnight blue, or Fusion has a beautiful color called Liberty Blue. Let me just grab that for you so you can see that color. I'll show you in the jar, but you can probably see it. So that's kind of a little bit lighter blue than the midnight blue. That's it here. It's kind of, it creates a beautiful denim effect. Um, so let me just point the camera down in a second. <laughs> My mum's here. Hey mum. <laughs> we're not going to tell Marty that we'll be painting on his jeans today. <laughs> but uh, instead of sewing them up, look, you know, they're getting a little bit dodgy. And look, they're even filthy dirty around the front. They're obviously well-worn work jeans. So we're just gonna use them for some painting projects today to cause a little bit of a fun technique on here. Let me point this board down. I'll just move this one out of the way so we can do that in a minute. <clears throat> here we go. So we've got the white background and I'm going to just paint this blue straight over the top of it, but we want to work a little bit quickly to get this effect. And I'm not worried about some paint showing through, some of the white paint showing through. We're gonna just put it all over. Almost looks denim-y kind of looking right there, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see that. We've got a bit of a shine happening there by the looks of it as I glance back up to the camera. Oh, I kind of even like this, this brushed thing up here. I might even just leave that like that. So it's not all painted. Just a little bit of a dry brush, tipping that off the edge. Okay, so before that dries, what I wanna do is place the jeans. I'm just gonna find the pocket area because I wanna use that pocket that's on the back there. I'm just going to pay, place them strategically, trying not to get the, oops, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to lay this down on here, just like that, and press really hard. Oops, I'm um, trying to think which way I should be directing the camera. There we go. So I'm pressing this down really hard onto the paint that's wet, and I might want to just get in on here. So we're going to see some around the edges here, but you can do this for all sorts of fabric. I'm placing my hands in there because that pocket on that side is, um, is gonna look really great for what I'm doing it for. Oops, you're trying not to smudge, but what's gonna happen is we're gonna get the wrinkles and the denim and all the things. Are you ready for the magic? Paula says, yes, I have done something before with denim. 
No, I have. So I'll have to put the link for that one here too. So here you go. Are you ready? Look at the magic. I know a lot of people have joined my Facebook page since I did that project last. So I thought I'd add it in here today, but check that out. Is that cool or what? So I'm going to use that for a background for one of my signboards. Let me just pop it up so we can see a little bit more in the distance. And I've left this sort of all smushed at the top here, but I have a pair of jeans now on a signboard. And what I want to do is add something to the top and you'll have to wait and see what I add to that. Um, you'll have to see what I add to that. I might use this board tomorrow or I might use my next board. Wasn't that just super quick? I mean, what I had to do was put the white paint down first, let that dry and then add the denim blue paint. Well, it's actually called Midnight Blue by Fusion. Last time I did this technique, I used their Liberty Blue color, but you can see the pattern of the jeans there. And um, so, yeah, we did kind of get paint on the jeans. You're not going to use them again. So use these ones just for the paint work and you can. OK, so the next thing we're going to do. So there's that. That's one idea for the back of a sign and you can put a stencil on top of that. I'll show you how I'll do that on a stencil with essential stencil. I've got the link there too, guys, for essential stencil in the comments if you want to um, if you want to get any of their stencils, use my code, I restore stuff, and you can get 10% off any of their stencils. Actually, let me just show you the ones that I'll be working on tomorrow. I'll be using, they do have a stencil of the month club, so you can get $5 off your first month of the stencil of the month club. I feel like I'm slightly crooked here. Sorry about that. Um, so tomorrow I'll be doing a live with Essential, and this is the um, stencil of the month for, um, what are we in, March? gorgeous spring things. I know it's getting towards autumn here in Australia, but these are gorgeous for spring. So, you know, you can order yours if you're from Australia, you can order them. <laughs> Paula says, just sew his pants up and he'll never notice. I'm sure he won't. So I'm going to use one of these and I'm also going to combine it with uh, their Essentials Spring Easter mini set. So their Easter mini set, if you want to get that. 10% off, but actually watch tomorrow on the live on Essential Stencil, you'll get a further 20% off tomorrow. So check that out. Let me just point you down here to the, I think I've got some crookedness happening, but it's probably only when I tilt it up. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to use a similar technique, different color. Now what I'm going to use for this textured technique on the board, is this, what do you call this guys? It's some kind of rubber matting. That's what I'm going to call it. You know, you line your drawers with it so um, that your, you know, like your coffee cups don't move around in the kitchen drawers. Um, my discount code for Essential is I restore stuff. Dahlia, thank you for asking. Okay, so um, yeah, use that discount code I restore stuff at Essential Stencil. You'll get 10% off any of their stencils there. I'm doing a live there tomorrow and we'll pop the codes in there as well. So what I'm going to do is place that down over the top of the color that I'm going to do next. So let me just get that color out. Now when you're not using a paintbrush but you are about to use it later, I always pop it in a plastic bag. That keeps it wet so that you don't get your paintbrush all dried out. That's if you're doing it sort of in between coats, I'll do that. All right, the next, this color I'm going to use is called Renfrew Blue. It's a gorgeous green color. I call it green. Yes, thank you, Paula. They're draw liners. Oh, what did I call it? Just, yeah, it's a rubber matting kind of mat. All right, so I've got paintbrush here. Let me just find a thinner version. Yeah, let's go with it. Okay, I'm just using this green color. So what I was saying before, same as the denim that I just used, if you've just joined me, I'm using some background techniques. Now this one's a little bit more translucent, this color. You can see that gorgeous green, isn't it? It's probably quite a spring kind of a color. If you want to, you can also paint down the sides of your boards, either now or do it later, probably later since we're wanting it to work, wanting to work fairly quickly so that we don't uh, 
the paint doesn't dry before we put the textured fabric on top. Now, I'd love to hear some of your ideas for different types of fabric. Say, for example, lace. What else could you use to create these kind of textured techniques on the backgrounds of your signs, signboards, and that kind of thing? I'd love to hear in your comments what you think. Hang on a second, I've got to just scroll up a bit because I'm missing some <coughs> of your comments. Some different fabric ideas. Yeah, the colour's gorgeous. It's called Renfrew Blue. It's by Fusion Mineral Paint. If you're in Australia, you can get that on my website, irisstorestuff.com. Got all of the Fusion Mineral Paint range. Okay, so again, that looks fairly translucent. If I was actually painting a piece of furniture, I'd want a lot more coverage than that. But because I'm not, I'm actually just painting a board. All right, I'm going to put this rubber mat down, just laying it down on top. Oop. And pressing that into it. I have not even tried this yet. I just figured it would work. So... Wish me luck, people. Yeah, I know. I'm sort of a bit worried about it drying too sometimes before it's done. Rice paper. Yeah, that's got a good texture to it. You could even get scrunched up newspaper and, you know, put that on and watch how that works. So let's have a look. I feel like I need to rub it down more. I could always get something to roll on it. See how that works. Just want to have a peek. Yeah, let's just have a look and see how that worked out. Wow. That's interesting. So you can get some lots of different effects just by all of the different um, textured fabrics and things that you can use. So that is pretty cool. So many different things you could do with that. I like the rice paper idea, Fran. Yeah, so the, now this board, you could use it sideways like this, or you could use it as a straight up and down sign board. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek of what I want to do tomorrow. The stencil that I want to use. It's a nice big one. It's part of their stencil of the month club and I won't lay it down on there, but this watering can. Can you imagine that with the flowers coming out of the top of it? So can't wait to do that tomorrow on Essential Stencils Live. If you've just joined me, let me just show you the two things that I've done today. Oops. And I was going to tell you also that I'm really excited about my Iris Door Stuff VIP Club that I have just created the landing page for. You can go and check out all of the details. So it's more for people who, if you, want to, if you are a creative person and you love painting furniture, making signs, all of that kind of thing, it's for those ones who want to take that hobby into the business, a business, create a business with it. And um, I've got all of the details on my landing page. So what it's going to be is that the VIP club that I'm starting will be a exclusive community that will do. I will do a live every month on Facebook in a special group for you. We'll have question and answer. We will be showing techniques and things about furniture painting, but we'll also be going into strategy and social media tech, um, social media. Um, creating some excitement around your pieces, how to sell more of your signs and your things that, are ma that you're making. So the link is right up there in the live description. I'll just drop it, drop it into the comments right here right now too. If that's something that you would like to do or be a part of, the VIP club, please jump onto that link that I've just posted there in the comments and go and check out all the details. If it's something you're interested in, I am super excited and I can't wait to see you there. What you'll do is you'll just go onto a waiting list and I will then email you when we're about ready to launch with all of the details. So check it out. Here's what we've made today, a signboard using my husband's jeans. We won't tell him. He doesn't know. He's away right now. We'll just pop him back in this cupboard. He'll be good. And we used the drawer lining to create that fun texture on this green board. Is that cool or what? So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hey, Tracy from New Zealand. That's so cool. Thank you, Marty from Central Florida. Awesome, so glad you could join us. If you're just joining now, I am just finished. Is there a charge for the video? Yes, it will be a 
really minimal monthly fee for the VIP iRestore Store Stuff VIP Club. And I'll tell you more about that as we get closer to the launch. So all the details are at that link and you'll be able to see that. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Please go back to jump back, skip back to the beginning of the live and check out how I did that denim project using my husband's jeans. And I'll catch you tomorrow live at the same time on Essential Stencils um, Facebook page. Now, in Australia, we're now going to be doing it at 10 o'clock not 11 o'clock because over in the good old USA, they've changed times and done their daylight saving thing. And hey, I'm just a girl from Queensland. Our time doesn't change for anybody or any reason for summer, winter, autumn or spring. So I'm still, I'm still here and it's still the same time, but tomorrow we'll be going at 10 o'clock, not my 11 o'clock time. If you're from Brisbane, that might make a difference. So good night to those of you in the USA and have a great Wednesday. Aussie people and I will catch you tomorrow on Essential Stencils page. Bye!